What is up, everyone? My name is Natalia, and I am the email marketing director here at 4 Media Marketing. And today, I want to be sharing with you three of my favorite campaign ideas that you need to try to boost your email revenue. So let's jump right in. The first one I'd like to talk about is a social proof campaign. So this is something I don't really see enough people in general doing companies. I don't see them leveraging their social proof enough. And it is a really great way to show your customer base everything that's good about you that people are saying. So psychologically, people love to do what other people love to do. When you share customer stories, when you share and highlight and showcase reviews and really great things that people that are using your products are saying about you, this really helps to instill trust and loyalty with people who are familiar with you or even people who've never purchased with you. This can really help to convert prospects, people who have never purchased to buyers, or it could even create that long-term loyalty with people who have purchased with you. Also for a social proof campaign like this, really great things to add are as seen on or as seen in. If you've been highlighted and showcased in Forbes or BioHealth, for example, or in magazines or anywhere on TV, this is a really great opportunity for you to go ahead and add that to your email and let people know that you are loved by many. So moving on to the second email campaign idea that I really love to do and really love to use is a text-based email to prospects. And this is uh, what I like to call very targeted and very nurturing email campaign. And this is segmented to the people on your list who have never purchased from you. And the idea behind this is to let them know like, hey, we know you're here and you've been here for a while, but you haven't purchased, like why? And you could even include an offer here if you wanted to. So my favorite way to do this is kind of just something very simple, very personalized, maybe even coming from the owner or a customer service rep just saying, hey, so-and-so, we noticed you've been on our list for X, Y, and Z amount of time and you haven't purchased from us. We just wanted to, and then basically you would include your sales pitch and your USPs here. This is the best time to do that. Let them know why you're so great, why you stand out from everybody else and what makes you unique to everybody else. This does really, really well. And for companies who on ads want to focus on top of funnel campaigns, although email is not really top of funnel, this is the most top of funnel email can get just because it is people who've never purchased. This is a really, really great way to convert prospects into buyers and hopefully, long-term loyal buyers who will talk about your brand, who will love your brand and so on and so forth. So yeah, definitely give this one a try. And last but not least, this is the long play game email that I love to send out monthly or even bi-weekly depending on how much content your brand has, which is reoccurring newsletters. So this may not be the best for every company or every brand depending on how much content you have because sending out a weekly newsletter may be too much for some companies or brands that don't have enough content to send out weekly. You can make this reoccur every month, every two months if you don't have enough content, but this is a really great way to educate your customers to let them know and give them all the information that they need to basically keep them engaged with your brand. I'm going to give you guys an example. If you're a makeup company, you can share makeup tips, DIYs. You can share like things like as deep as like the ingredients that your products have. So this is just a really, really great way to inform and educate your customers and keep them engaged, keep them knowledgeable. And potentially, again, the goal is always to turn prospects to buyers and to keep buyers long-term buyers. And that is the goal with email marketing. So keeping them informed and providing value content besides just sales and offers and and things that you know every other company is doing is just super valuable and will really really make you stand out and before i get off i did want to go over a little bonus tip there are little things that you can include in every single one of your emails 
doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's a sale or if you're showcasing a product or highlighting a product, whatever it is, you can include these little sections at the bottom of every single email. So the first thing is a cross sell section. So what you wanna do is you wanna include a, you may also like section or this pair as well with this or frequently bought together. You basically wanna include a section in your email that gives people the opportunity to see what other things people buy, what other things people love, or what other things they may love as well. You can also include review or social proof. So again, like I mentioned earlier, just customer reviews, highlighting why they like your company or your product. And then if you have any as seen or on or in section that you want to include. And last but not least, the us versus them. This is really a great way to showcase your what makes you unique. So and yeah, those are basically my top three email campaigns that I recommend every single person do if you're doing email marketing, of course. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you loved and you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'm happy to answer them for you. And if you liked this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and follow for more.